Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Check us out online at chasecoach.com and please, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your buddy from Kentucky. Chase Motorsports. All right, here we go. 2022 model Renegade. This is a classic series and it's the 38 CSB floor plan. So 38 foot, I think seven inches long, tip to tip, on a Peterbilt 567 chassis. 315 steer rubber, 18,000 pound steer axle, and 605 ponies under that hood. Okay, 605 horsepower. It's got the Eaton Ultra Shift Plus, which is a 13-speed automated transmission. You will never miss a gear in this coach. When you pull up and you take off from a stop sign or stoplight, your buddies are going to be like, God, where did he learn to shift that thing? Little do they know, it's all it's doing it all for you. So, Peterbilt 567, full-size chassis, um, 605 horse Cummins, holds 120 gallons of fuel. It's got the big single tank right there, as you can see under the driver's door. This is a three slide unit with a master bedroom, king size bed in the back, and sleeps two, four, six, sleeps eight people comfortable. So as you can see, two slides on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. I'm gonna make my way around and then we'll open up all the boxes and go through those. Does have the 40,000 pound hitch. So I've had a couple people recently go, how do you get a 40,000 pound hitch? Well, it's rated for 40,000 on the panel hitch. When it's on the two and five sixteenths ball, like you see there, that's rated for 30,000 pounds. But still, I mean, I don't think you're ever gonna tow 30,000 pounds with it anyways, but overkill on the hitch never, you know, doesn't hurt in my opinion. So you do have the seven way plug, the black one there for your uh, trailer marker lights and stuff. You've also got the uh, Voyager camera, it's already prepped. So if you got Voyager camera on the back of your trailer, it's already pre-wired. You got your glad hand fittings. And as you can see, this hitch is adjustable height, so you can go up and down. So two slides on the driver's side, one slide back in the master bedroom. Has the one of the carefree awnings, comes out, kind of pitches down, as you can see. Uh, does have the Samsung TV outdoor entertainment and sound bar. Keyless entry comes with a key fob. You can also set up a personalized code and enter through that. Very, very nice. I love the quality of a Peterbilt. I love the quality of Renegade. And when you put the two together, I think you have the ultimate combination for reliability, um, just a smooth ride. You can tow whatever you want to tow behind it just all around good, good, good combination. So uh, I think that's all on the outside. Let me pop open the storage boxes. We'll breeze through those right quick and then we will make our way into the interior. I appreciate you watching. Again, please hit the subscribe button, share our channel with a friend. If you know anyone in the market that is, buy, is interested in buying a coach like this or if they have one for sale, I also, I buy. So, um, Please forward our information to appreciate you. Stand by. I'll be right back. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. If you're in the market for a like new pre-owned motorhome or trailer, give us a call today or check us out at chasecoach.com. Lots of inventory in stock, normally something to fit every budget. Financing available. We deliver nationwide and we accept trade-ins too. I would love to earn your business. All right, so we got the boxes open. First one on the passenger side has your engine and house batteries. So the engine batteries is the 231 series batteries on the top. And then this coach is equipped with three of the um, AGM sealed 12 volt batteries on the bottom. So 
I think they're around 200 amp hour a piece. So lots and lots and lots of battery life uh, built into this Renegade 38 CSB. Second one back is going to be storage. And this was in the coach when we took it on trade. It says on the go portable water softener. I thought it was pretty cool. I looked them up online. Looks like it's two, three hundred dollars. I don't know. It goes with it. So included a freebie. You don't, there's not many free things in life anymore, are there? All right. Next one back, which is third compartment back on the passenger side is storage. Also has the factory Peterbilt floor mats with the 567 logo in the corner there. I don't think they've ever been used. Back here is behind the right rear tire is your Aqua Hot. It does have the Aqua Hot 450D, which is the hydronic um, heating system, makes hot water, um, uses a boiler system, heats antifreeze up. It's got a diesel side and an electricity side there, so there's no propane on this one, what they consider an all-electric coach. Back here on the right rear, your um, central vac system is located, kind of seam up there in the corner, your shore power cord and your transfer switch. Again, we talked about the, the hitch and all just a bit ago. Back here, you have the 12.5 Onan diesel generator with 1,477 hours. And as with any coach that goes through our shop, we did service the generator. Uh, we recommend servicing it again in 200 hours. It currently has 1,477 hours on the 12.5 KW Onan diesel. Um, in front of the left rear tires, your wet base. So you've got your black and gray uh, dump tank handles. You've got that green valve, which you can see right now the position that the valve's in. It's on the tank fill position. So you have the white water hose there kind of laying against the, the bottom of the compartment. That hose is on an electric reel, so that's your fresh water hose reel. You pull it out, connect it to a outside water faucet or spigot and turn the water on and then you drop the green valve down like that to fill the tank or stand it up for city water. Um, this Renegade is also equipped with a uh, black tank flush system, cable hookup, um, fresh water filter over there. Very neat. Next two bays are going to be black and gray. 75 gallons a piece on those. Another storage bay here, it also has one of the Magnum Energy Inverters, 3,000 watt. And then the little compartment right up here, kind of underneath behind the driver's door, is your DEF fluid. And as I say in all videos, uh, DEF fluid. I know a lot of you guys don't like it. I'm not a huge fan, but uh, that's just life sometimes, right? It's just, it is what it is. It's part of it. So 120 gallons, big single tank there under the door. Um, the previous owner added a few little lights and dolled it up a little bit. You can see some under cab marker lights. And I think this little guy here is also aftermarket. But overall, a super, super, super nice unit. Oh, one of the big deals I didn't mention, JW speaker headlights. The brightest, with all caps, the brightest headlights I have ever, ever drove with a coach. They are LED, and let me tell you, they are bright. So that wraps it up on the compartments. Uh, oh, I didn't show you in the cab. Let me open that up. I love the colors of this one, kind of some gray and like sandstone, little wood grain look to it there. Air ride seats that are heated and cooled. That's right. Um, so the, the factory floor mats were laying because it's got one of the red line mat systems that covers the whole floor in it. 30,000 miles. I don't know if I mentioned that. Smart steering wheel controls. Um, has the Peterbilt smart nav in dash navigation. Has CB radio and then behind you here, kind of above the driver's headrest area is your leveling system. Go over and open up the other door. Same deal over here, heated and cooled seat. In fact, there's the little control for it. Differential locks, air dump system. Very, very, very nice quality. As expected 
from our friends at Peterbilt. So that wraps up the exterior. Stand by just a moment and uh, we'll get this door opened up. Go inside. Okay, so two or three people have commented on YouTube and I don't pay a lot of attention to it. I'm gonna be honest, I stay very busy. A lot of that goes in one ear and out the other. Um, my wife, Lauren, who does all the YouTube edits, she comments and, you know, just responds to people. But a lot of it is people with a lot of time on their hands. I'm just going to put it that way. But anyways, one guy commented one day and he said, man, if you're going to brag about your guys and how good they do polishing, show us the money. So we're going to throw a little clip in there right now. We're going to pause this and throw a little clip in there and show you the process that we do on polishing wheels mind-blowing the difference in the before and after. And the wheel that we're showing you in this video was how it comes from the factory. So stand by just a moment. A few of the videos we posted online, people are like, hey, you brag a lot about your polishing. Well, let me show you the difference. So on the outside of this wheel, you can see it is not polished, okay? The inside is. of the wheel is still not polished and the lower part is. All right, we'll make our way inside the coach. We'll stop right here though and take a look at the tiled entryway. I think it gives Renegade a very, very, or any coach for that matter, a very classy look, kind of a high-end look on entryway. Oh, and there you see it, a limited edition Chase Motorsports coach and trailer entry rug. We talked management into extending the promotion. Buy the rug, get the coach free, okay? See Chase Motorsports for complete details. Yeah. All right, three slides on this one. So the main slide is on the driver's side. And as you can see, there's a sofa. That sofa does turn into a queen size bed. You also have a booth style dinette. The dinette will seat four people, very comfortable. This one's almost big enough to seat three on each side, but let's say four, two on each side to be safe. So seats four people, sleeps two people. That center leaf and the table drops down. If you check out the photos at chasecoach.com, you'll see pictures of how it looks in the bed position. Uh, original owner's manuals. There's one set of keys there. There's another set up in the cab. Um, it does have the queen size bed above the cab. So I like the little area there to like set your phone or a drink on. As you can see, the Outlet has USBs and a 120 volt. Day and night shades throughout the coach, including up here on the bunk. Uh, the ladder comes with it, hooks right here and goes to the floor. Does have the multiplex system, so you can control uh, the whole coach from here. Lighting, water pump, your aqua hot system, your generator, your air conditioners, everything right here. And you can also always hit this little gear down here, hit the mobile app. And you can download the app and punch in that code and run the coach remotely. It's a Bluetooth system. It does have the full width access to the cab. Uh, it's got a shade that drops down for privacy or, you know, if you're up there driving and the kids or the wife is back here trying to watch a movie and they're being loud and there's lights. There's nothing more distracting than trying to drive one of these and someone back here with all the lights on and TV on at night. The Macy's Day Parade is on there. I think that's it. It's Thanksgiving Day I'm doing this video, so I think that's what's going on on NBC. But anyways, cabinetry. Cabinetry is always amazing quality from Renegade. Um, to my knowledge, it's either Amish or Mennonites that make it up there in the Elkhart area, but um, you, will, you won't find finer... Uh, cabinetry, just from the latches and how tight everything fits. Very, very, very nice job. Kudos, guys. 
Big single stainless sink. Does have the two burner true induction electric cooktop. Uh, very nice safety and it's flush mounted. So it's sunk down in the cabinet or in the countertop. Samsung convection microwave oven. Lots of storage in this one. So for a coach that's under 39 foot, I was mind blown with the amount of storage. I like these drawers. They're all soft close. Um, as you can see, the um, dovetail way they're assembled there. You have to keep in mind an RV going down the road. I mean, think about your house bouncing down the road. And I mean, these guys have use a lot of thought and put a lot of effort into making sure you don't have like a pile of parts in the floor, you know, when you get to where you're going. So lots of, lots of thought there. Big uh, Samsung stainless fridge. So French door on the top fridge and then a pullout freezer on the bottom. Clean. I applaud our detail people. The guys so that we have here are pretty mind blowing. Ice maker. You can see a couple of pieces of ice already in it. Um, sliding pocket door. So this actually pulls out, it's magnetic. So when it goes back, it's magnetic, but the pocket door slides. It is a mid bath. So that's the cushion for the, the dinette. When we drop that down for the photos, that's the cushion for the middle. But mid bath, little sink, vanity area, matching countertop and matching backsplash, overhead medicine cabinet. Has the big Neo angle shower, big, big shower with a glass door. Love that. Very simple to get in and out. One piece fiberglass. The easiest showers to keep clean with the overhead skylight. Spin around here on the passenger side. We have one of the Tegma electric flush toilets, some overhead cabinets, uh, roof vent. And this coach is prepped for the washer and dryer. So it's not in there, but the plumbing's there, the electricity's there. Um, a lot of people. Don't prefer them. They'd rather have the storage. As you can see, the clothing rod there on the top. Adjustable shelves included. But we do keep the washer and dryers in stock if that is something you want or need. That is no problem at all. Big Samsung TV back here in the master bedroom. Two slides, so it gives you a lot of room in the bedroom. King size bed. 150 gallons of water under the bed. So we can raise this up. You can now just kind of shine it there. You got two 75 gallon tanks. Your water pump is under there. So 150 gallons of fresh water on board. The uh, porcelain tile in this one, one of my favorites. A high gloss finish, easy to keep clean with that central vac. You can vacuum the coach out and then uh, take like a little Swiffer wet mop or whatever, clean it. You do have the sliding pocket doors back here, and these slide from both directions. So, as you can see, they meet in the middle. Very nice. And then one goes one direction, obviously one goes the other, and they're magnetic, so magnets grab them there on the back. I think that covers 90% of it. I always miss stuff. After the videos, I'm always like, oh, I forgot to say that. But anyways, I appreciate your time today. Please hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, we would love to have you uh, as part of what we do here. I think that does it all. Uh, if you have any questions, please give me a shout. Visit us online at chasecoach.com. The price will be on there. If this coach is for sale, it will be on the website with a price. So we take trades, we deliver nationwide um, financing, got some good financing options, and would love to earn your business. So thank you for your time today. If there's anything we can do for you, please give us a call. And uh, until next time, have a great day.